So she pins this note on me. And she done called my mama so I can't take it off. I walk in the house, my mama waiting on me. What is that pinned on your coat, mister? I said, I know you know. I didn't say that to her though, I just said. She snatched it off. The teacher called me, said you're being a Mr. Smart Pants. What did you write on the paper? She asked us what we wanted to be, and I wrote I want to be on TV. She said, what you write that on the paper for? I said, I'd be <laughs> My mama is a dream killer too. <laughs> this is some <laughs> right here. I said, well, mama, that's what I want to be. She said, well, that ain't what you're supposed to put on your paper. She said, I'm telling your daddy when he get home. And I went, okay, now nah, this is really up now because this ain't nothing but swooping when he get here because my daddy was the enforcer in the family when he came on instant swooping no questions asked this how we do it we roll it so i'm sitting on steps waiting on him he come in the house he called me in there he said boy what does your mama say you got a note pin on you at school for I... she said tell him tell him what you wrote on your paper i said i want to be on tv he said what you write that on paper for I said, because that's what the teacher asked me. She said, Slick, just whoop him, because he ain't got no business writing that stuff on the paper. He said, what you put on the paper, boy? I said, I won't be on TV. He said, well, what's wrong with that? I said, uh-oh, a reprieve from the governor. This could be a stay of execution. So I sat up there, I said, this boy can be on TV if he want to. No, he can't, Slick. He got to write what that teacher said put on paper. He said, boy, go on in your room. I'm coming in there. I said, okay, well, I'm getting whooping anyway. So he came in the room. I started unbuttoning my pants. He said, hold on, boy. He said, what she want you to write on that paper? I said, like a policeman or something. He said, well, take a piece of paper out. Put that on paper. He said, now take that piece of paper. I won't be on TV and put it in your top drawer. Take that down there and give it to that dream killing heifer. And you, what I want you to do is every morning before you go to school, I want you to read that paper. And every night before you go to bed, I want you to read that paper. If you, if you turn your TV on five days a week, All because my father just believed in me. He just gave me that one little moment I needed.